Hello and welcome. Uh, I'm Kevin Masterson, and this is my morning talk show with Kevin and Betty, special book edition. Uh, Betty couldn't be here today uh, because she doesn't think this is a good idea. Uh, so I'm here to talk about the coin and uh, you know how it came to my hands and who gave it to me. And that man is Nathan Jones. He wrote the book, and I met him on set. Uh, was on set one day, and in the morning he comes up to me and he goes. Uh, are you a, a reader? Uh, you know, I'm definitely a reader. I, I love reading. And he goes, well, if you like Stephen King, uh, you'll love the book I wrote. And I was like, well, I love Stephen King. Uh, and then, so after that, kind of forgot about it. Uh, rest of the day passes, have a great day on set. And then at the end of the day, he's signing out and uh, he handed me a book, uh, The Coin, uh, with a little inscription. So uh, here it is. To Kevin, peace and love, blessings to you all always, Nathan, 1024, 2019. Uh, so that was the day Nathan gave me the book, and uh, I threw it in my backpack and didn't really think much of it, kind of uh, put it in the back of my mind. And then I believe that weekend, I picked the book up. It had a certain gravity to it, a certain draw. Uh, picked it up and started reading, and uh, I was immediately enamored. I was, I was drawn in, I was focused, I was laser focused on this story. Uh, read the entire thing in one sitting and uh, couldn't put it down. I, I loved it. So um, I realized uh, that I needed to do something about it. Uh, I needed to promote, you know. And so I reached out to Nathan Jones. Uh, I got his phone number from another person I worked with. It was actually a little bit of a kerfuffle. Uh, but I got his information and I reached out and I uh, was like, hey, I love your book. I want to help get the word out. Can I do a reading, a web series where I read the book out to an audience and, you know, let people know what you're trying to put out there? Uh, he seemed, he seemed, you know, in tune to it. Uh, so I sent him a form. I said, you know, if you give this a little signature, uh, then we'll be set to go. So <clears throat> he looked at it over about a week and then I gave him a call and he told me that his multiple lawyers uh, looked over this form and he said that I was trying to steal his book. Um, once you read it, you'll realize that, that that's not a possibility. Um, but I did not want to do that. I, uh, I protested the accusation. He uh, basically was convinced that I was trying to steal it and that I was a bad person. And so uh, we ended the phone call, kind of walked away from it. And uh, so now I'm at a certain point where I have uh, a specific request uh, to not read this aloud online. Uh, but I'm going to do it anyways, uh, despite Nathan's stance and despite uh, you know, his vehement protest, his very clear protest not to do it for his own good. Uh, I'm going to read this online, and I'm going to do it in this fashion. Uh, I've put a lot into this, and I really believe in this. So, uh, sorry that I haven't been able to do other projects of late. Uh, it has been about a three or four month hiatus, but as soon as this came on my plate, I realized there was nothing more important. So, uh, when we come back, uh, The Coin, Chapter 1. Hi, uh, uh, thanks, thanks for watching. Uh, remember to like and subscribe uh, because this is the only thing I care about. So I really appreciate the questions and uh, any feedback uh, you, you want to throw my way. The bus arrived. He got on and said to the bus driver, Hello, how are you? Okay, thank you. <laughs> 